everyone's career ends at some point, no matter if it's in eighth grade, after high school, or you know, college level. These guys, if you're lucky, if you're one of the best players to ever play the game, you're done by 40-ish, around 40 years old. And then you have a whole life to live after that. So how will you take what you learned on the field, on the court, wherever you are, and apply it to your personal life and find something else that you enjoy outside of the game? There are many players who struggle with that, even at the highest level. Big leaguers who I've spoken with this past year in spring training, I went down to Florida. I spoke with Michael Chavis with the Nationals, and he told me he loves working with the wood. He likes doing other things outside, going on hikes. To find, try to create a balance between baseball and life, it's crucial because this game can eat you alive if you let it, especially with the amount of failure that there is in baseball. Seven out of ten times, you're a great player if you fail seven out of ten times. It's unlike many other sports, but that was pretty much one of the main messages is being able to separate the two truly enjoy being on that field, not taking it too seriously where it affects you, and how much uh, of the mental side plays into it. It really does. Being a good teammate is another one of the big lessons because everyone's so focused on what they can do personally to achieve success. But the thing that lasts a lifetime are the relationships that you make, and being a good teammate is really the foundation of that. You know, you want to be a good person, a good teammate, someone who is able to help your friends on the team. And years from now, that's what you'll remember most. Not the numbers, not your batting average when you were playing 13U, any of that kind of stuff. It's all about the, the relationships and then being able to take what you learned in the game and apply it to your life.